Hello, my name is Maria from MathMammoth.com and this is Mathy, my mascot. In this lesson we are studying thousandths or thousandth parts. I drew here a hundred grid. So imagine it represents one and is divided into one hundred parts. So each little square is one hundredth, right? And now to, rep to represent thousandths I need to divide this one here into 10 new parts. So let's say, for example, I will first divide it in half and then like that. And now each one of those little ones is one thousandth. Over here I have seven thousandths, so let me color that like that. And then we're going to write it as a decimal. To write this as a decimal, we're going to need three decimal digits. It's going to be zero, point, like that, and this seven goes here. This one here is the tenths place, as you remember. This one is the hundredths place, and this one is the thousandths place, so seven thousandths. Now how about this one, twenty-nine thousandths. First I'm going to color over here. Let me color two more here. So I have the 9 here, and then 20 more. Okay, if this one was divided into 10 of those parts and I color them all, I would get 10 thousandths, right? And then if I take another one, another square, then that's also going to be 10 thousandths. So now I have 29 thousandths. As a decimal, I again need 3 decimal digits. And I simply put the 29 over here, like that. Okay, and zero here. Notice though that this is, while it is 29 thousandths, it is also two hundredths and nine thousandths. Look at the picture again. This square and this square, each one of those is one hundredth, right? So we have two hundredths here and nine thousandths. But in total, 29 thousandths. And this last one, 411 thousandths. Matthew, it's your turn to color, okay? 411 thousandths, okay. Yep, when he colors this whole column, it is one tenth, but it is also one hundred thousandths. So we need to color them more, Matthew. There's four hundred thousandths and some more still. This square here is one hundredth, but it is ten thousandths, and then one thousandth from there. And to write it as a decimal is easy. You need three decimal digits, and they are those four, one, one, from there. So you can see here that this is four tenths, and one hundredth, and one thousandth, or at the same time, four hundred eleven thousandths. Here we're going to write twelve thousandths in this place value chart, and then in expanded form. And here's my ones place, tenths place, hundredths and thousandths place. So twelve thousandths goes like this. Okay? And like we just studied, even though it is twelve thousandths, it is also at the same time one hundredth and two thousandths. To write it in expanded form, we're going to write it as a sum, as an addition of each one of these parts. Okay? So for this one I have one hundredth and two thousandths, so I'm going to write it as a sum. There's one hundredth, it is one times one hundredth, and then we have two of the thousandths, like that. You could also write this as a decimal, you know, 0 0.01, and this as a decimal, 0 0.001. And then this one, six tenths, five thousandths. It's easy to write in the place value chart since it tells us six tenths right there, and then five thousandths. But now I need to, for it to be a normal looking number, I need to place zeros here in these empty places. And then in expanded form, it's going to be a sum, like I said. If you want to make it really complete, you could start with this zero, zero times one. But, okay, I'll try if I have space. Zero times one. And then six, six of the tenths. 
and then zero hundredths and lastly five thousandths, like that. What's that, Matthew? Oh, Matthew has a bonus problem for you, okay? Yeah, right? Right as a decimal, 99 and 99 thousandths. Got that? Right as a decimal, I have space here. You should get 99 and 99 thousandths, like that, okay? Next, we are going to look at a number line. This one goes from 0 to 0 0.1 or 1 tenth. And it is divided into 10 parts. So therefore, each part is how long or how much? It's 1 tenth divided into 10 parts. So each one of these is 1 hundredth. Let me mark it here. This would be 1 hundredth. And this would be 2 hundredths and so on. And now we're going to mark these numbers on the number line. Here's our first number. It is, can you tell, 25 thousandths. So where is it on the number line? Think of it this way. This number has two in the hundredths place. So it has two hundredths and then beyond that, five thousandths. So I can go to two hundredths here and then beyond that, I go five thousandths more. And those thousandths, I would need to divide this here into 10 new parts. Like that. And then the fifth one over here, which is exactly in the middle, that one is 25 thousandths. Next one, we have 49 thousandths. But at the same time, it is 4 hundredths and 9 thousandths. So I can use that to mark it on the number line. I will find 4 hundredths first, over here. And then if this was divided into 10 little parts, I would go to the ninth line. So it's right there somewhere. 112 thousandths. How about that one? This one has 1 tenth, and then 1 hundredth, and then 2 thousandths. 1 tenth is over here, right? Then after that we go 1 hundredth more over here, and then beyond that 2 thousandths further. And the last one, can you tell? 87 thousandths. But I will first find 8 hundredths, which is here, and then imagine those little lines and go to the seventh one, somewhere there.